day for us. I'm sure that what you're not seeing there is there is an interpreter, like interpreter. and they're just cutting it, right? So she's speaking and then sure, they're, probably, sure. they're probably cutting it. It's a great day to play, everybody! Welcome on into the channel. Yeah. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you for being here with us today. You are loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. Today, we're going to be doing President Biden and Vice President Harris welcome BTS to the White House. Um, we have been following along with their White House journey. I, I haven't really done any videos about it. We've been so busy, but we have been following along and watching them. I posted some stuff to some of the social media sites and Twitter. Um, People were adamant we did this today. Yeah, this is, this is historic. And I mean, like... like for somebody, I know that a lot of you probably are, are really just paying attention to the BTS side of things, but I used to be very, very heavily involved in politics. I worked in political fundraising, communications work for many, many, many years. I did advance work and met with senators, met with, I've, I've met President Obama, I met Hillary Clinton back in the day, I've worked with a bunch of senators. Like, I've, I've, this is was very, very much a part of my world. And so for me, it hits really, really close to home, not just for them to be able to do it, but just the changes that we're making here in politics in general right now in a time where it's very, 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 very polarized and so it's just very very exciting to see uh see them here specifically and how much of an honor this is for i think both sides so oh yeah i'm super super excited to get to this let's check it out don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell to follow along with our bts journey you can check out our live streams every saturday at noon central time you can check out our music now spotify app on amazon our new single tragedies just dropped and you can also do memberships on the channel if you want to see more bts content we do have memberships open now and we have a patreon page but without further ado let's Go. I figured I'd make you feel at home. <laughs> it's what? Are you gonna dance with him? Jakey's like, what do we do? That's such a cool shot. Oh my god. BTS. Today we're here to speak with President Biden about anti Asian hate crimes, Asian inclusion, and diversity. How cool. Wow. This would be come out and say hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're going to go just out of the store. Hi, we're BTS. And it is a great honor to be invited to the White House today to discuss the important issues of anti-Asian hate crimes, Asian inclusion, and diversity. Hangu When we see hate and prejudice, it's meant to make people afraid. And it's meant to make people feel alone. And How are they knowing what's going on? Do they have like earpieces? When pieces? you all speak about it, you speak to people in a way that reminds them they're not alone. We just want to give back all the love that we got. Use our voice like yeah. you told us. Yeah. Um, that's all we wanted. So today is a really, really historical and big day for us. I'm sure that what you're not seeing there is there is an interpreter, like interpreter. and they're just cutting it, right? So she's speaking and then sure, they're, probably, sure. they're probably cutting it. <laughs> we feel happy There's a woman that was definitely sitting there. Oh, okay. Help make a positive impact. And we feel uh, the great responsibility at the same time. Welcome to the White House. Come on up here, guy. <laughs> I got involved in public life because of civil rights. Even back then, famous artists 
help move people. What you're doing makes a big difference. Talking about how we have to eliminate hate is important. When we first heard that um, the White House and President Biden invited us um, because of the Stop Asian Hate and the Anti-Asian Hate Crimes, we were like, this is it, why not? We have to go, we have to go to DC, we have to see you and thank you for recognizing all the efforts and we truly feel that our time truly pays off and pays back. This is an important month here in America. A lot of our Asian American friends have uh, been subject to real discrimination. We want to say thank you um, sincerely for um, your decision, um, like such as signing the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act into law. We truly appreciate the White House and the government's trying to find solutions. I know you know what you're doing, but don't underestimate it. It's not just your great talent. It's the message you communicate. This is what I matters. reported. So this is one president who appreciates you. <laughs> wow. Woo -hoo. I have to tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Lastly, we thank President Biden and the White House for giving this important opportunity to speak about the important causes, remind ourselves of what we can do as artists. Once again, thank you very much. Wow. It, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, that was so cool and so monumentous, but damn, did they look cool walking down the halls <laughs> of the White House, like on a totally like superficial level, like dang, they look cool. But also that was amazing. You know, we look at it from a BTS standpoint, but I don't think that people really understand how how big of a moment this is. Like, it's yeah. not, that doesn't happen. Like, and it's not just with agent groups. Like, that doesn't happen. People going and speaking behind the podium of the White House I, yeah. does not happen. Like, it, it is it is such, such a big thing for them to make such an ordeal out of this. And regard, I, I've already seen, I've already seen comments of people like, oh, they're just doing this because like BTS is popular, whatever. It, it, it doesn't matter. Like, there have been artists all throughout generations that it would have been popular to put, put them behind the stand. They're doing it because they understand that BTS actually has real impact right. with communities. And so therefore, they, they understand by putting them behind the podium that they could make a real difference to generations of people, regardless of whether it's here in the United States or abroad, to hopefully enact change or make people see how important it is to have that inclusion factor. And for those of you, because I know that only it's only like 15% of our audience is from America, for those of you who aren't from America or don't pay attention to American politics, like we have such bad divisions here right now. And a lot of those divisions are made in communities specifically along lines of gender, along lines of race, along lines of who we choose to love. Like there there are sides out there that are literally making entire arguments about dividing people for being different. And that is what is specifically happening in America right now. And from somebody who spent the vast majority of my young adult life in politics to see in my lifetime, to see, you know, a black president and a black vice president and the amount of inclusivity that we've been able to do and now to see a group that does not speak english as their first language that's a worldwide group an asian behind a podium making statements and meeting with the president of the united states and then making such a big deal out of it both the white house and all the news outlets and getting that information out there is entirely incredible and i think that like beyond just bts and celebrating bts and it's just saying like look at where they're at i think we need to look and see not just what their impact has done to music Music, but what their impact has done to the world and what if we do the right things if we come together if we allow things like the music industry to combine with things like politics where we use our voices for good that things like this can happen and uh and it's just it's truly incredible seeing like that whole thing is just truly truly incredible so really really appreciate you guys requesting that we would have watched it regardless but <laughs> afterwards Heck but yes, you know i I, pro I, I honestly probably would not have done a reaction to it though it was already on my watch list to watch after yeah we would we would have watched it but i probably would not have done done a reaction to it and a lot of this is because of exactly the things that i said here not that they don't need to be said but I can I can really go on tirades and tangents when it comes to things like this because it's so it's so important to me. 
so um thank you guys so so much really really appreciate you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this please leave your comments down below like subscribe hit the notification bell follow along with our journey and check out our live stream saturdays noon central time you can check out our music on spotify apple and amazon our new single is out now and if you want more content don't forget memberships or patreon all kinds of extra content there nobody told you that they love you today don't forget that we love you you're appreciated always welcome here in this channel and you are enough and last but certainly not least it, it was, was a great, great day to play. play. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.